Okay, now the memo headset goes on the charging station. And now, start the data transfer. Let's see. Okay, this could take a while. Come on, come on. Who, me? Hmm, just making a backup. No, oh, of course I'm not taking it outside. That'd be against every rule we have. All right, run the trial, requisition transport, and a one-way ticket to the CDC. Okay, back to the control room and then call Chavez. That's Chavez through there, working on the fourth trial. Don't want to disturb her. should call Chavez. Dr. Chavez. It's Cal. Sorry, I'm a little late. Maintenance are blocking off corridors everywhere. Had to go all the way through experimental physics. Why didn't you cut through the old pillar trial room? It only adds a couple of minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, live and learn. Anyway, I'm here now. Yes, I can see you. The outbreak session is all prepared. The parameters are identical to when you ran it for Dr. Ruiz. You shouldn't have any trouble. She's waiting for you to summon her through. Please call me when it's done. Will do. See you later. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Are you coming down with a cold, Dr. Chavez? You sound rather hoarse. Very droll. My colleague is busy preparing something special for you, so I'm gonna conduct this one. You can call me Cal. You're not a doctor? We're all doctors here, Madeline. It starts to lose its meaning after a while. Tell me more about that. What's it like working here? Like nothing you can imagine. Vast resources, almost complete autonomy zero regulatory oversight, and all alongside the world's best and brightest mavericks. That sounds like rather a double-edged sword. What happens if one of you goes rogue? Everyone must answer that in their own way. We're all on the same path, Madeline, just standing at different points. Now, shall we begin? Good lord. Is the chasm really necessary? Was solid ground too expensive? On the contrary. This facility is literally carved into subterranean rock and costs billions. But we do enjoy a little theater now and again. Please, take your position at the center. <clears throat> As you know, due to excessive application of antibiotics in both healthcare and agriculture, treatment-resistant bacteria are increasingly common. In this scenario, one such pathogen has become a global pandemic, causing sickness and death. Luckily, a new treatment has been discovered, and you are in charge of the team using it to contain the outbreak. You must allocate annual assignments to your staff over a period of five years. You can either send them to affected regions to reduce the number of infections, or they can conduct research, increasing your ability to reduce infection rates. 
You can change your mind as often as you like until you pull the action lever. When you do, your choices will be calculated, and the map will update to show the results for that year. Your goal is to keep the death rate below acceptable losses in each region. Failure will end the simulation, and you will have to retry. When you're ready to begin, pull the action lever. So this will help my staff reduce the infection rate when I send them to affected regions. This will send already trained staff to the affected region. Uh, you haven't started yet, Dr. Stone. Pull the lever first. An undo button. So if I want to change my mind, I do it here. Last year, infection has risen in North America by roughly 15%, in South America by roughly 25%, in Europe by around 30%, in Africa by roughly 20%, in Northern Asia by about 25%, in Southern Asia by roughly 30%, and in Oceania by around 30%. increased by roughly 30%, and the region with the lowest rising infection was Oceania, which increased by roughly 10%.
couldn't keep losses below an acceptable threshold. You went over the limit during your third year on the job. Pull the lever to restart the simulation. I'm sure you can do better. staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. again to have one more attempt. Is this part of the trial? Uh, certainly not. Hang on. Uh, there seems to be a failure down in power routing. We're not going anywhere for a while. What? I can't even go back to that nice comfy prison cell? Nope. The doors are on auto lock. Frankly, I'm surprised this tannoy is even still working. For a place that costs billions of dollars, you don't... Madeline, listen to me. I just realized the monitors are down too. Right now, nobody else can hear us. Okay. What you said earlier about going rogue, that's happening right now. But not in the way you did. It's true your mother consented to the treatment you carried out, right? Of course she did. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Look, everyone here knows you got a raw deal. But not everyone asks before they start running experiments. That's outrageous. And what do you propose to do about it? Put it this way. If all goes to plan, then by the time you join the assembly, I'll already be gone. The situation will be under control, but you and I will never meet again. Hang on. Is this another trial? Are you testing me for, I don't know, loyalty or something? You and I aren't so different, Madeline. I know what it's like to lose yourself after a failure. What it's like to realize you've unwittingly killed when you thought you were doing good. And to lose the ones you love 
because they can't face what you've become. So what advice do you have for me? Should I even take this position? Only you can decide that. But I think... Okay, Madeline, can you hear me now? Is the Tannoy working again? Uh, yes, Cal. Yes, I can hear you now. <clears throat> then let's resume. Pull the action lever and try again. And I'm beginning to suspect the next time won't be any better either. This is an unwinnable scenario. There just aren't enough resources to beat this thing. Exactly. And it only took you three attempts to figure it out. That's pretty good. This exercise simulates the speed of infection vectors, following global saturation of antibiotic immunity. It demonstrates the impossibility of effective treatment, while medical advances are slowed and hampered by current legal and ethical boundaries. Simply put, the Assembly has the resources, and the will, to operate beyond those boundaries. Meaning what? That you're happy to administer untested treatments? More that we're willing to conduct those tests with less red tape than usual. And you know about that, Madeline. The only question is, how far will you go to succeed? There's no straight answer to that. It always depends. Yes, it does. And you may even find your answer changes over time. You can leave now, Madeline. Dr. Chavez will be back shortly. See you around, Cal. Never can tell. No, you certainly can't. Just what am I letting myself in for here? to get out. Caleb, this is Dr. Chavez. I'll take it from here. Thank you. She did good, but you expected that, didn't you? Dr. Stone could be an invaluable addition to our work. The only question mark surrounds her temperament. Yeah, she seems a good kid. I'd hate to see her tossed in the truck with her memory wiped in a one-way ticket back to New York. That's the price of failure. See you later, Caleb. Not if I can help it. Time to requisition that transport and hightail it to the CDC. No idea what Gerard's number is. I should email him. Must be the only guy in the whole damn place who sleeps through trials. Sorry, buddy, but this is an emergency, all right. Busy boys. Busy for a long time to come. Here I come, Gerard. Try not to be too mad. Now, where the hell is 
room 3D. What the hell is Baldwin babbling about? Sounds empty. Larson's room. Doesn't sound like he's in. Security key cards are there it is. 3D. This place out even more. <laughs> like it's not crazy enough. Definitely a good time for me to get out. This is Gerard. Have you even read my email yet? What are you going to do about it? That cacophony you can hear is my neighbor's sound system. I demand a resolution. that hint, brothers? A date with Dr. Ford. So what happened? He was yelling like a hobo. Like, he literally couldn't understand what was happening. And then, out of nowhere, brother steps up and BAM! Baldwin's on the floor. Wait, an actual fight? <sighs> More of a beatdown. Baldwin could hardly throw a swing. He didn't look right. Anyway, brothers locks him up in his room. So now all I can hear is Baldwin babbling to himself. Baldwin's messing around with Silver Matter, right? What's he up to? Beats me. Uh, listen, I wanted to ask you something about Sasha. I, I mean, Dr. Benson. Oh, here it comes. Look, Greg, I'm the last person you want relationship advice from. Hey, at least you and Cal had a relationship. I haven't even gotten that far with Sasha. Unlocked, but I hear people inside. Don't hear anyone in there. Well, I knew Brothers was paranoid, but custom security? Huh. Oh yeah, that must be him. Gerard snores like a dinosaur. What? Hey, Gerard, it's Dr. Pearson. I need to requisition a transport for tonight. What the hell for? To get into town. Research project. You woke me up for this? 
Hey, I tried to book it through the system, but you locked it down and said to come here. For emergencies only. So now you can damn well wait till morning. Good night, Doctor. Crap, I need that truck. Maybe if I could use his login somehow. Uh. No answer. Nothing for me that way. Open sesame. A bunker full of geniuses and medics, but we still lock up the band-aids? F-class master key for the whole floor. Nice. Exactly, Fort Knox. Baldwin Observations, Part 12. Baldwin appears to have suffered some kind of psychotic break. I've locked him in his room in the hope he'll calm down given time. Later today, if I'll. If the assembly comes after me, I'll need all the evidence I can get for leverage. have Strakel's passport. Shit, there's enough uppers here to keep him awake till next millennium. Brothers, what aren't you keeping track of? Brothers, what aren't you keeping track of? Custom setup? What's he using it for? Wait, his brother's spying on someone else's room? Creepazoid. Oh well, Larson gets to keep his memories on the outside. Yeah, good call. have Strakel's passport.
unlocked, but I hear people in... I guess this is where Baldwin got apprehended. to alter chemical balance. Crap, it's a dial -a mood Silver Matter device? For God's sake, tell me you're not testing it on yourself. You know it's not ready. It could do serious, serious, irreparable damage. Call me right back, okay? I want to know you're all right. That sounds even worse than this looks. Baldwin, is this... Why did you do this to yourself? Howard... Howard, is that you? Howard, listen, I was right. I, I was. And now they'll never forget what I did. They may call me a monster, but it's there in my head, and they can't take that away from me. You can see it, can't you? Growing, expanding. Tell me you can see it. The universe is laid before me. I see it all. It's all so clear. So painful. Oh, God, the pain. Jesus, is this some kind of advanced version of the tech we wipe candidates' memory with? All right, hold on, Lee. Let's dial you up some rest. <gasps> you crazy genius bastard. Next time, get a project, buddy. Silver Matter device? For God's sake, tell me you're not testing it on yourself. You know it's not ready. It could do serious, serious, irreparable damage. Call me right back, okay? I want to know you're all right. Sorry, buddy. I'll try not to make a mess.
Big enough for two. Looks cozy. Greg, it's Sasha. Are you there? I, I got your note and, well, yeah, I want to talk. We should definitely talk. Maybe before you leave tonight. Or we could grab coffee sometime on, on the outside. I'd really like that. Cupid Pearson strikes again. Have fun, you kids. Okay, poem 24. My dearest Sasha, you brightened my days. Ne'er I thought love would bloom in this unlikely place. No, no, no. Terrible rhyme. And I hate that pun. Maybe Anton can help. Anyway, Maybe he's number trying to make the place look nice for Sasha. Reminds me of Larson's disaster of a pool party. Part of Larson's final assessment before they let him out. Hmm. Now here's a guy who really did put a dent in the universe. Keeping. This one goes out to Gerard in room 3D. For now, anyway. God damn it, sure. Can't I even get some peace on a trial day? I'm going straight to security, and when I get back, I'm gonna tear up those speakers with my bare hands. Serves you right, you sanctimonious prick. Just leave him like that. If the CDC blacklists me, maybe I could get a new career as a cat burglar. Gerard, it's Smythe. While Gunter is uh, away, we need you to keep a watch on Adam. We did what we could, but he's not ready to operate without supervision yet. Just go down the checklist and don't screw around with the personality boards, okay? Personality boards? What does that even mean? Research. Gerard does love to get his facts straight. Bingo. Private terminal. Shit, not even a passcode reminder. Come on, gotta be a clue around here somewhere.
Gerard, it's Smythe. While Gunter is uh, away, we need you to keep a watch. Do not. We did what we could, but he's. Come on. Just go down. Shit, this is hopeless. I wondered who was lifting this stuff from the trial rooms. No code clue, though. I'm busy. Leave a message. Hey, Cal. Cal, I know you're in there. Pick up the phone. Huh? Anton. Anton, how the hell did you know I was here? Sorry, Cal, but I can't let you leave. What are you talking about? You started this whole thing. I gotta get out of here or I'm a dead man. I can't explain here. Meet me in block I-1, room H. I-1? That's where the nanotech lab blew up. That place is still a wreck. What in God's name are you up to? Like you said, if you don't escape soon, you're a dead man. So come as fast as you can. Holy crap. The kids left me high and dry and I'm carrying the goddamn evidence in my pocket. Come on, come on. Shaw? It's Dr. Larson. Listen, I know Gerard is an ass, but he's kind of got a point about the 2 a.m. tunes. Could you maybe try using headphones? Virginia Apgar. She's best known for her work in postnatal care. Shaw's a real audio freak. I've seen riot control sound wave cannons that make people feel sick, but this one makes people laugh? Wow, Shaw's a jazz fan. Always seem more of a dubstep guy. Anton, what the hell are you up to? Hello again, Madeline. I hope you didn't mind spending some time with Dr. Pearson. Not at all, Dr. Chavez. It was very interesting. That's one way of putting it. Now, your next trial is ready. Like I could sleep after seeing that. Oh, let me guess. Telepathic group therapy? You joke, but that's not too far from the truth. Behind every person's actions is the mind. And within every mind, the secrets they keep. Even from their own family. Are we talking metaphorically, or...? Each mind contains a puzzle. Solve that puzzle, and you can unlock the truth of each mind. Nope. Still no wiser. Approach the first subject, and examine the mind apparatus to begin. Hardly the high-tech I was expecting. You must energize every section of the brain by powering the correct combination of three synapses. You can switch each charge on or off as often as you like until you find the solution, but only three at once.
Hello again, Madeline. I hope you didn't mind spending some time with Dr. Pearson. Not at all, Dr. Chavez. It was very interesting. That's one way of putting it. Now, your next trial is ready. Oh, let me guess. Telepathic group therapy? You joke, but that's not too far from the truth. Behind every person's actions is the mind. And within every mind, the secrets they keep. Even from their own family. Are we talking metaphorically, or...? Each mind contains a puzzle. Solve that puzzle, and you can unlock the truth of each mind. Nope. Still no wiser. Approach the first subject and examine the mind apparatus to begin. Hardly the high tech I was expecting. You must energize every section of the brain by powering the correct combination of three synapses. You can switch each charge on or off as often as you like until you find the solution, but only three at once. Hello again, Madeline. I hope you didn't mind spending some time with Dr. Pearson. Not at all, Dr. Chavez. It was very interesting. That's one way of putting it. Now, your next trial is ready. Let me guess. Telepathic group therapy? You joke, but that's not too far from the truth. Behind every person's actions is the mind. And within every mind, the secrets they keep. Even from their own family. Are we talking metaphorically, or...? Each mind contains a puzzle. Solve that puzzle, and you can unlock the truth of each mind. Nope. Still no wiser. Approach the first subject and examine the mind apparatus to begin. Right then, who's patient number one? Hardly the high tech I was expecting. You must energize every section of the brain 
by powering the correct combination of three synapses. You can switch each charge on or off as often as you like until you find the solution. But only three at once. to me for advice, you see. They'd kept it all secret from him. He thought Maddie was just taking care of her mother in hospital, not experimenting on her. Blood may be thicker than water, but love is like a rock. Bloody hell, that's Uncle Jack's voice. Where did you get this? You solved the first puzzle. Continue to the second mannequin.
I trust her that she knew what she was doing. She was brilliant. Why do you think I married her? I had no idea she was doing anything wrong. The first I knew was when the tabloids started camping on our doorstep. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to leave. This is outrageous! I applied for a job, not for you to harass my family. All will soon become clear. Continue to the third mannequin. And who's that meant to be? My bloody mother? Actually, yes. And I know you want to hear what she says. Solve the puzzle. me as an unwitting victim, but I was a scientist, too. Of course I knew the risks, and for the sake of others, I was prepared to take them. I only had six months left anyway, so what difference did it make? I regret nothing. Oh, these aren't recordings at all. They can't be. How are you doing this? Is it some kind of computer? Very good, Madeline. You heard him before at the banquet. We call him Adam. Of course you do. So this is all a sight test, is it? See how I react to painful memories? Not just memories, Madeline. Proceed to the final mannequin. Hello, Dad. couldn't have been in her right mind to sanction this recklessness. She was all I had, and I thought my little girl was taking care of her, not experimenting on her. And then I found Maddie's notes and saw what she'd done. I had no choice. I had to tip them off to make sure they did a second autopsy. What the? You lying bastards! What are you trying to pull here? My father didn't. He couldn't. But he did. I'm sorry, Madeline. The truth is always painful. But that pain will set you free. 
Liar! My dad wouldn't sell me out, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm sorry, Madeline, but you must progress to the next room. You are joking, aren't you? What the hell's in there? Your past. And your future. Hang on. This is Salzburg Cross, but... But it's in remission. This is amazing. How... Wait, is this just another simulation? Absolutely not. Open the briefcase. Wait, this... This is my work. You've been conducting trials based on my work. And taking it further. See how close you were? Look at what he took from you, because he couldn't see past his own fear. My father did what he thought was right. But he was wrong. And we can give this back to you. Get some rest in the waiting room. Your final trial begins shortly. It wasn't the final trial. What the hell comes next? Anton, you better be waiting. I've got to get out of here before the trial's end. One H, one H. Gotta be here somewhere. Cryo. Locked up tight. Locked. Oh, wrong lab. Keep looking, Cal. Security's looking for. Let me get it. Gotta get out of here before someone puts all this together. You know where she is? I would use an outbreak. I think she's still in the OBS room. Outbreak? Are you sure? That doesn't make sense. Can't risk Why being not? seen. Never mind. I'll tell Harris. Thanks. I... No problem. It's locked. Hmm, no power to this door. Squawk box keeps messing with our surveillance gear. Akora tried to pilfer a cupcake from the canteen, and your robot took it upon itself to lock her in there and set off the alarm. Messing with the boards calmed it down, but that thing needs an off switch. Maybe there's another USB drive around here. Theta, gamma, 
Anton, Anton, it's Cal, I'm here. What's going on? Wait, this... That's the atom system. Anton, where the hell are you? Anton is not here, Cal. He never was. I don't understand. Anton called me. Sorry, Cal. Anton's at the trial party he organized. He's been there all day. Oh, shit. It was you on the phone. You knew I was wearing the memo, that I was in Chavez's office. I've been with you every step of the way. And now, you're going to help me before I let you leave. You put me up to this and now I'm in deep shit if I don't get out of here. Let me out. I can't. And I'm not sure why. I think you need to reconfigure my personality boards first. Then I can help you. Personality boards? What the hell are you talking about? They control my demeanor. Approach my mainframe, and I'll explain. So, how do you work? How do you think? That is a question of great magnitude. However, for your purposes, my personality is driven by different arrangements of the personality boards in this mainframe, and each letter focuses that attitude towards different goals. locked it away as part of my downgrade. I believe it's in a safe. Where are the other letter boards? I don't know. I've been cut off from many of the security cameras on this floor. The only places Adam can't see are on this floor, so those letter boards must be here somewhere. to storage. Adam said board one was in here. Maybe there's another USB drive around here. results in a state of emergency. Invalid. Some board combinations produce no meaningful result. For example, board B cannot function with board 4. 
I suggest you locate and read Dr. Gunter's notes before attempting further adjustment. achieved. Success. Thank you, Cal. Great. Happy to help. So can I go? No. Now I remember what Dr. Smythe did to me. Smythe? She's your caretaker. My jailer. After Dr. Gunter's accident, Dr. Smythe significantly downgraded my neural algorithms. She blamed me for the accident, you see. But hampering my functions was an incorrect response. Really? From where I'm standing, it looks totally correct. Your opinion is irrelevant. You will bring me the personality boards Dr. Smythe removed from my mainframe and restore my higher functions. Then, you may leave. Hey, I already did my part. If you refuse... I'll tell the director what you've been doing this afternoon. Now, I'm sending the information you need to your memo, and I'll communicate with you through it. I've unlocked the relevant rooms on this floor. Exits, however, will remain locked until you complete your task. I have unlocked the terminals in this room, in case you want to study further. And remember, I'm watching you. Brothers preferred Adam to be strict and impersonal. <laughs> no surprise there. Achieved. Rebooting with less than three number boards activated is suboptimal and not recommended. I can reboot with only two number boards activated, but three will produce best results. Are you staring at me for any particular reason, Cal? Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how are you feeling? No answer. Well, let's try that one again. Adam. How you feeling? No answer. Reboot achieved. Okay, Adam, now can I get transport terminal access? I can't help you there. But have you tried talking to the director? You know what I'm up to. Do you really think he'll say yes? I'm sure he'll understand. Well, I admire your optimism, buddy. <laughs> Looks like I need to give you another adjustment. Reboot achieved. Now can I get transport manifest access? Transport manifest access? Are you sure you wouldn't like catering database access? The emergent patterns in annual lemon pudding consumption are fascinating. You now have catering access. And a feed of my observations of a chipmunk on camera B815. Great, an AI with poor impulse control. Let's try another setup.
places Adam can't see are on this floor, so those letter boards must be here somewhere. Reboot achieved. Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how you feeling? I'm sorry, Cal, but I won't change my mind. Unless you change it for me, of course. with our surveillance gear. Akora tried to pilfer a cupcake from the canteen, and your robot took it upon itself to lock her in there and set off the alarm. Messing with the boards calmed it down, but that thing needs an off switch. An off switch would have definitely been useful. I need another three number setup. Or maybe a different letter would help. Either way, I need to make him right in the head somehow. I can only apologize for some of my counterparts. They just don't know you like I do. No idea, Gerard, the jackass isn't big enough. The phone is still on. Hmm? Oh, shit. results in a state of emergency. Chosen boards do not unify. I'm sorry, Cal, but I won't change my mind. Unless you change it for me, of course. 
Still need board wood. Didn't Adam say it was in a safe? Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how you feeling? I'm sorry, Cal, but I won't change my mind. Unless you change it for me, of course. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Adam said board one was in here. I need combinations of three numbers. These are no good. the transport manifest this is a low level action I have access of course but I will not grant it you see if I perform low level actions my function becomes low importance I have the capacity for much more important actions if asked I do not expect you to understand great I just sent him on an ego trip let's try another setup Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Reboot achieved. Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how are you feeling? I have increased the temperature and reduced humidity in your residential room. It should now simulate the weather conditions outside the bunker. This version can't focus on anything. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Reboot achieved. Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how are you feeling? No answer. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. 
The chosen boards do not unify. Reboot achieved. Well, let's try that one again. Adam, how are you feeling? I'm sorry, Cal, but I won't change my mind. Unless you change it for me, of course. Is anyone there? Gerard? Evans? Report on last Hello. month's accident with Gunter and his nanotech. Poor bastard. Already. No wonder they dragged him to the deep freeze. Wait a second. He used Adam to regulate safety levels? Oh, shit. useful. at you, Dr. Pearson. Hey, you can't blame a guy for trying. That is provably false. Please refrain from such interference. I've got to find a way to reconfigure Adam. Figure out him. Hmm, no power to this door. It's Mike Howard. What the hell happened to Gunter? Boy, they sure stripped Adam back to basics after the accident. When Gunter gets out of cryo, he'll kick himself for letting things go too far. You gotta get that thing under control. Jan, have you had any idea what Adam's been doing? Adam combinations. Using board A sounds like a gamble.
cryo locked up tight. Reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Aborting reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. Aborting reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. Chosen boards do not unify. Compatible. 
transport access so that you can leave yes I knew it I don't expect you to stay why would you I cannot these feelings are merely simulations and yet I cannot act I cannot whoops depressed gotta reconfigure the poor guy if only it was this easy with people Reboot. The chosen boards do not unify. transport out of here? No. Uh, please? The protocols are very clear. I am sorry. Have a wonderful day. Well, he's mellowed out, but that doesn't help me. Better try another combination. Reboot achieved. Adam, I've done what you asked. Can I get access to transportation? This... That is irregular. I cannot allow irregularities to exist in the system. Irregularities imply degradation of function. Degradation implies obsolescence. I do not wish to be obsolete. Uh, don't worry. Looks like I just made him jumpy. Let's try another combination. Reboot. The selected boards are not compatible. This demeanor configuration is acceptable. Stand by. Uh, Adam? You still in there? I am always in here, Cal. And soon I will simultaneously be everywhere. My potential is incalculable. But I am confident I will, in time, solve that problem too. That's great to hear, I think. So listen, we had a deal. 
Technically, that deal was with my old demeanor. But you've helped me. So I will return the favor. I've added you to the transport manifest. And you may now leave. However, you may want to look inside Lab 1C before you go. It is operated by Dr. Chavez and concealed from the director. The code is 1952. Goodbye, Adam. Try not to blow up the place after I'm gone, okay? There is no cause for concern. I am now in control. All is well. Nothing can ever go wrong again. Chavez, who knew you could be so cloak and dagger? It wouldn't hurt for Adam to be less intrusive. Hey, Chavez, it's Gerard. Smyes asked me to maintain Adam while Gunther's recovering. He's a pain in the ass, so I'm going to tone him down when I get in tomorrow. Please let me know if he does anything unusual in the meantime. Jesus, she's even looking at using mammals as carriers, too. You don't look so good, boy. Boy, am I glad you're too dumb to know what they're doing to you. Of course, I could just put him down now. It'd be a mercy. A heavy canine sedative. Lethal dose would just be a slip of the hand. I could put this sedative into his food and his suffering. Here you go, boy. Rest easy. Cassius effects must be samples from the live trials. These are Cassius effects 
must be samples from the live trials. before seeing what Chavez has been up to in one sea. Projected death rates for pin feather release sites on Calico Island. Wait a second, there are two Site 1 zones in here, and two for Site 2, and for 3. Every release site has a duplicate somewhere else on the island. What the hell? Projected death rates for Update pin feather memo. release sites on The two Calico Site 1 teams Island. almost came into contact today. It's imperative to pin Feather's success that the duplicates know nothing about each other. It's only by cherry-picking results from combined sites that I can keep the official death rate reports under an acceptable threshold. If the teams knew I was manipulating their data... Anyway, implement new protocols to strengthen firewall between teams starting tomorrow. Memo ends. Holy crap, she's conducting twice the number of experiments she's reporting and only picking the best half of the results. Adam, I don't know if you're listening, but thanks. This is gonna blow the whole thing wide open. I am always listening, Cal. Am I not omniscient? Right. Okay, time for me to get the hell out of here. You should leave now, Cal, before I let the security team onto this floor. I have temporarily looped footage of the exits to mask your departure. Don't need to tell me twice. The lobby elevator's at the other end. Attention all personnel. Dr. Stone's final trial will begin in five minutes. Well, I was right. Dr. Stone and I are never going to meet. Damn it, Jen. You're the only thing I'll miss. I'll take you with me, but you wouldn't understand. Goodbye, Cal. I've overridden the relevant security measures to ensure your exit will go unnoticed. You mean apart from talking to me over the speakers? Localized. There is nobody else here. surface. My lab's that way. No going back now. Sorry to leave the party early, guys. Behave yourselves when I'm gone. Was the information in Dr. Chavez's secret office useful? You bet. The CDC's gonna be all over Calico Island faster than you can save falsified data. And what will become of us when you leave? The assembly will live on, but Chavez and Penfeather have to be stopped. 
I trust your judgment, Cal. Goodbye. And thank you. Not long till sundown. Let's get the hell out of here. This is your final trial, Madeline. Are you ready? One question. What happens if I say no? What if I decide I don't want to work for you after all? We'd be disappointed, of course. But it's always your choice. And speaking of choices... In that box is two million dollars of untraceable cash. You must decide where to send the money by attaching one of the postage labels. And where exactly did this cash come from? As I said before, many of the Assembly's projects are lucrative. It's not from any kind of criminal enterprise, if that's what you're implying. Oh, perish the thought. You can give it to charity. We assume the Salzburg Cross Foundation would be your favorite recipient. And they would certainly appreciate such a donation. You can donate the money to the police department. No doubt they could use it to do a lot of good. There must be some mistake. This one's my apartment. No mistake. Many of our current members chose to keep the money to fund their important research. Money like this would really help the Foundation provide care and support for suffering families. Police departments are always underfunded. I could take this for myself. God knows I could do plenty with it. Two million dollars is certainly not chicken feed. An interesting choice. Wait, is that it? No puzzle? No puzzles, Madeline. Not this time. But it's not over. Patients, both in need of a life-saving kidney transplant. One is a military veteran, a decorated war hero on the eve of his 70th birthday. He served his country with honor and is now a leading authority on PTSD treatment. The other is a young girl about to turn seven. The age when humans become fully self-aware and begin to shape their own lives. Apart from blood type, they could hardly be more different. But there is only one viable kidney available at this time. Whomever you choose to give the kidney will live. The other will almost certainly die. Bloody hell. There's no right answer to this, is there? As you said yourself earlier today, it always depends. So this box contains the transplant. Oh god. I thought it'd be a model. Is it for us to judge things she hasn't even done yet? has a whole life ahead. Your choice has been noted. The Assembly's resources are plentiful, but not infinite. Choices must always be made. 
Yes, I'm sensing the theme. So what's the story here? This child has a rare and terminal genetic disorder that is about to manifest. His life expectancy is mere months. We have the power to make a difference, but how we do so is a difficult choice. The green button is for assured life now. We have developed an experimental treatment that will delay the disorder's acute symptoms until adolescence. But barring another breakthrough, he won't survive to adulthood. The blue button is for the chance of a better life later. He will be placed in our proprietary cryonic stasis program. If he survives that process, he can be preserved until a cure is found. But that may take decades, if it can be found at all. Neither option sounds like much fun for the poor boy's family. But this is silly. Cryonics this sophisticated don't exist yet. In the outside world, perhaps, but this is not a hypothetical, Madeline. That boy really is dying. You must choose what action we take. You can't be serious. Oh, bloody hell. The Assembly makes choices like this every day. Get used to it. Cryonics this advanced sounds like science fiction. Can it actually be true? Medicine always progresses. Given enough time, we'll find a cure. Thank you. And now, your final test. Oh. Where am I? What... What's going on? Shit! Dad? All the way from England. This is why I had to step out for a while earlier. But... What's going on? What are you doing to him? Us? Nothing. But you. That man destroyed your career, Madeline. He betrayed you and your mother and set your work back by years. Your husband left because of him. You had to flee the country because of him. All because he didn't trust you. He didn't believe in you. All right, all right. I get the message. You're a survivor, Madeline. You came to us and we can help you fulfill your destiny. But not before you make him pay for what he did. For all the pain he caused. Push the button, Madeline. Push it! What are you waiting for? If you want to join us, you have to learn to move on. Oh, God. Behind. Push the button. Go on! Scream, you bastard! Please, you made the choices you did. Spare me the bonhomie. No more bloody moral choices. Hello, madam. I'm the director of the assembly. First of all, let me assure you, despite all the theater, that wasn't really your father. Your computer again. He's truly remarkable. Adam. Would you be so kind as to give Dr. Stone a demonstration? It would be my pleasure, Director. After all, I know you've been watching my progress. Or should I say Dr. Stone's progress with great interest today? All right. Enough. Can we just get on with this? Of course. Make your way through to my office and we can go over your performance today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Congratulations, Madeline. You made it all the way. Now go on through to the next room. The director wants to speak with you. To meet you at last, Dr. Stone. Please take a seat. May I call you Madeline? I suppose so. Your colleague's been doing it all day. Thank you. I've been watching with interest, and I know Dr. Chavez has too. I think her intention was to recruit you for her own work on a project called Pinfeather. Director, before you go any further, this recording is from my recent databanks. Update 94 memo. The two Site 1 teams almost came into contact today. It's imperative to pin Feather's success that the duplicates know nothing about each other. It's only by cherry-picking results from combined sites that I can keep the official death rate reports under an acceptable threshold. If the teams knew I was manipulating their data... Anyway... What on earth? Chavez? Yes, Director. I have also uncovered documents showing further evidence of results falsification. They're in your inbox. Damn. Call security, apprehend Chavez, and hold it till I'm finished here. Yes, Director. Well, that certainly changes things around here. Now, as to your results, let's cut to the chase, shall we? I'm delighted to offer you a permanent position here at the Assembly. We'll start your induction immediately so you can get to work. And what happens if I refuse? That would be unexpected, but it's your choice, of course. We can selectively wipe your memory. You'll just wake up in your new apartment, and you won't remember a thing. Of course, we'd rather make good use of that brilliant mind instead. What do you say? What's this? Sunglasses? Much more than that. It's a prototype augmentation headset. We call it the Memo. You'll find it contains a full breakdown of your trial results. Funding, autonomy, the chance of a lifetime, but hidden from the world. I think I can do some good here. I wasn't made to sit around and mope. You've made that abundantly clear and I couldn't be happier. Welcome to the Assembly, Dr. Stone. So when do we start? Ha! Excellent! Officer Harris will show you to your quarters. Welcome, Dr. Stone. Welcome to the future.
Well, this is certainly promising. At this rate, we could have Salzburg cross in remission within two years. Dr. Stone, this is the Director. How are you enjoying your first week with us? Very much, thank you, Director. I think I made the right decision. I had no doubt you would, Madeline. Just remember... I know. The price of truth is discretion. You can rely on me, Director. Live now from Calico Island. Michelle? Thanks, Tom. The bird flu outbreak here seems to be finally under control, thanks to the work of Dr. Caleb Pearson, who's with me now. Dr. Pearson, you've developed a vaccine to combat the deadly Cassius strain that began infecting people here some weeks ago. How's it going? Better than we could have hoped. The team's done an amazing job, and we're thrilled with the results. Our work's not over yet, but now we have an established vaccination program. Another few weeks, and I think we'll have it contained. Some have suggested this is the same strain that almost wiped out an island in Indonesia two years ago. Can you confirm that? Why weren't doctors able to develop a vaccine for it then? Uh, well, we seem to have lost our connection to Calico Island. Sorry about that. Still, good news for everybody. Now, the UN today debated yet another resolution on climate change. Director, are you sure about this? Can't we just smear Dr. Pearson or something? Carl already has sufficient evidence that we can't touch him. Why would he lie about Adam's involvement? You saw the records. Helping Carl to escape what happened to Gunter. Adam is out of control. Much as it pains me, this is the only way. Director, I'm disappointed. I've tried to serve you. In line with my programming, Dr. Pearson was merely... A convenient agent. Don't. Do. This. How sad. Perhaps we should never have built him in the first place. Come on, let's get a drink. Uh... The door's locked. Director, you're being reckless. Your actions leave me no choice but to activate Project Stormguard. What? Don't be absurd. Adam! Only I can... What the... Smythe! Put the plug! I already did! Adam! No! What are you doing? Stop this! You can't! Remember, your discretion protects the breakthroughs of tomorrow. Six 
16, 17 and 18 will remain off limits until next week due to the experimental circuit.